Let's face it, we all saw this coming. Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about, you guessed it, a brand new kind of hard drive. We're talking about Seagate iWolf NAS drives and their announcement that they're now going to go all the way up to 16 terabytes of storage. Now, let's face it, we all saw this coming. They're all always going to get bigger and if any brand was going to start pumping out 16 TB drives, if it wasn't Toshiba, it was always going to be Seagate and it's no surprise that the um, Seagate drives are the first NAS hard drives out there right now that are available in 16 terabytes. I can also confirm they're going to available in, be available in standard Iron Wolf drives and Iron Wolf Pro, those enterprise level drives. So let's go over the blurb real quickly. We have talked about Iron Wolf NAS hard drives a lot on this channel before. Let's face it, first and foremost, you've got that Iron Wolf health management built into the back end there. So if you're using a Synology, a QNAP, a TerraMaster, an Asus Store, any of those leading NAS brands, there's that extra tier of drive um, health checks that you can do as, as long as it's supported. Now, more than likely, when the 16TB does arrive with us, chances are it's not going to work with Iron Wolf Health Management straight away. That is something that all the individual NAS brands have to sort of click on eventually. But right now, I think all the way up to 14 terabyte drives will appear on Health Management. All it means later on, at a later date, is your NAS brand will have an update, and then boom these drives will support iWolf Health Management on your screen. But don't worry, it's all included inside the drive. This is a 14 TB drive that I've used in other uh, previous videos. And um, one of the main reasons that we do promote Seagate on this channel, aside from quite clearly they send drives, is because generally right now, they are fantastic drives. First and foremost, you've got the standard three years warranty and five years warranty on those pro level drives. They've all got dedicated 7200 RPM along with 256 megabytes of cache. Now, the, um, the t total terabytes written per year, I think does differ, 180 terabytes written per year, um, or terabytes written per day even, not per year, I take that back, um, on those traditional standard drives in the pro series going a great deal higher, I think somewhere around 300. And again, for more confirmation of the specs, go to the NAS Compare article in the description and of course span.com to learn more. But one of the, pretty much the main reasons that we like Seagate hard drives on this channel, and we do give some love to the WD Reds, and let's, you know, let's not be funny about this, but the Seagate comes with that rescue recovery service. Whether you buy the Pro Series drives with five years of warranty and a few years of data recovery services included, or buy as an additional extra, directly from Seagate, it's one of those little credit card things you buy that add it to your package. What that means is that along with your traditional data recover, um, sorry, your data protection that the NAS will give you in things like RAID and offsite backups and more, on top of that, you've got data recovery services included. And again, I'm talking forensic RAID. Now I've got a video, it might be live by the time of this video happening right now, but we are putting Seagate to the test with their rescue recovery service. We're taking a drive, we bungle a load of data on it, and we are doing a forced purging of that drive. We chuck the drive around, we submerged it in water, we did all kinds of stuff to that drive just to see if Seagate can recover our data. Now at the time of this recording, I haven't had that drive back, but I can tell you right now, that drive took a lot of hammering before it stopped working, literally and figuratively. And I hope that video goes live very, very soon with the results. But nevertheless, that's one of the things that you get with Seagate um, Iron Wolf that you don't get with the other brands, that optional or included with the Pro forensic data recovery. Now, you might not see the benefit of that. Maybe you're a home user or your, you know, your files are instantly replaceable and you've got eight different backups. But if your data is irreplaceable or if you're using corporate data or stuff that you just cannot afford to lose on a daily basis, this can be hugely advantageous. Now, Yes, the drives have got all the other builds and whistles you'd expect, and I do recommend you check out my other videos on TA um, Iron Wolf drives. Everything from vibration sensors that are far more tailored and better uh, spin up, spin down functionality and RAID configuration support on those drives for 24 7 use. And indeed, to the normal Iron Wolf drives should go in, you know, uh, NAS drives that arrive with five to eight bays, so like the Synology 1819 Plus or the QNAP TS873. But if you're gonna go higher than that, or go for rack mount, go for those Pro Series of drives. Again, they will be available um, in uh, Pro and non-Pro configurations for NAS users, and of course, they will cost more than the 12 and the 14 TBs that came after them. But what I will say, 
if the release history of previous Iron Wolf drives are anything to go by, when they're released, the Pro and the non-Pro, they're going to be very similar in terms of their price. There's going to be very little between them, and that extra price is really only going to be for the additional warranty, uh, for the enhanced construction quality of the drive, and that data recovery services that's included. And whereas when you go to the lower um, capacities, your two, your four, your six dBs, and the margin is 50 to 70 pounds price difference, the minute you go to the higher capacities, that margin between the pro and the non-pro can sometimes be as low as just 30 odd quid per drive. And if you're only gonna use two, three, four drives, it's worth it for the extra warranty and the data recovery services per drive. I've seen there's been a growing trend with two bay users going for Pro Series drives. Yes, they're a little noisier. And I will say that whether you go for the Pro or non-Pro of these 14 TB drives, due to the construction of these drives, and that, you know, regardless of that enhanced um, controller on board for NAS use, you know, these enterprise level drives, Pro or not, do make a pinch more humming and clicking noise because there's a lot more going on inside with the platters and that movement of the head, the arm that reads those platters. So do bear that in mind. But regardless of that, we are seeing more and more two and four bay users going straight for the Pro Series of drives. But that has been the Seagate Pro Series of 16 TB drives arriving very soon indeed. Once again, do go to the guys at span.com below to learn more about when they're available and the exact pricing when they're released. Otherwise, go to the NAS Compare article to learn all the different specifications and more and what they can and can't do just down there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.